Hi, I'm going to show you the basics of creating an app with the Baker framework and N5. So here I have a very simple InDesign document. It's just three pages with indications of each page. And to get my content, I'm going to go up and choose File, Export HTML5 with N5. And I make sure that my output format is Baker framework. And there's one other thing relevant to that. Um, in the SEO and meta section, you can add a custom book URL. This should be unique to your book. Um, in this case, I'm just going to leave it as the default because this is a, a demo. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. And it will export those pages for me. And a couple things before we take a look at the files. Uh, there are a couple uh, prerequisites to be able to use the Baker framework. Uh, the first thing is you need to have Xcode on your Mac. Uh, this is how iOS, iPhone, and iPad apps are compiled. So make sure you go and download this. It's a free download. It's a very large file. And then you also want to go to the bakerframework.com to get the Baker framework. And all you need to do is download the, um, the package here and I have that on my hard drive I'll show you in a second and you can with Baker create either a newsstand app to show up in the Apple newsstand app or you can create a standalone app that uh, functions on its own and there's a tutorial for each so I'm just gonna click on the standalone so that we start here with this tutorial I'm gonna switch back over to the finder so you can see the files I have here and when I export with the Baker framework, you'll see that it creates a book folder with all of the assets. And what I've done in this other window here is to take that downloaded framework and unzip it. So I'm going to go into there. And one of the steps, I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit, is to copy this book folder or whatever the name will be. You can certainly change the name if you want. Copy this into the books folder within the Baker Framework project. So I'm gonna just drag that right into here. And so now that, that book folder is in there. And I'm gonna open up this Baker Xcode project. So here I have the Xcode project. I'm gonna flip back to the instructions so I can walk through that. So the first step is to unzip. We've done that. Open the project. Change the bundle ID. So if I click on Baker on the left here, you can see there's a bundle identifier. So that will need to be changed so it's unique to your company. Um, you can also change the settings here. You can select iPad or iPhone app. You can add um, icons and, and the like there. So. Uh, number of things to set here about the project and so just going through uh, adding the icon again this is just a simple demo so I'm not going to change many of these things um, but in the Baker shelf folder we need to uh, get to that file constants.h so I'm gonna twirl this open and go to Baker shelf and go to constants.h and if you're not a coder, just try and hang in. I know this is a, a lot to uh, look at. And I don't code much in Xcode myself, so um, I just, I'm just i doing what I can to get by here. So it says to delete this or comment it out. So to comment it out, I just need two slashes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then it also tells me to remove the news kit framework in the list of linked libraries. So I'm going to go back to this. Uh, kind of Baker super category. Scroll down to the new stand kit framework and I'm going to click minus to take that off. And the next step is to go into Baker supporting files. And so I'm going to twirl open Baker and supporter supporting files and then go to the Baker info P list. And in here I need to twirl open the icons and get rid of the newsstand icon. So I'm going to select that and click minus to get rid of it. 
I also tells me to get rid of the required background modes. So I'm going to look for that right there and click minus to get rid of that. And there's also application presets content and newsstand. So I'm going to select that one and click minus to get rid of that. So those are all things that be used if we were exporting for newsstand. So this is just to customize it uh, so that we can use it as a standalone app. And then of course we've already done this step of adding the books folder in and in5 produces all the supporting files that are needed. So uh, the, the book.json file is already in there. And the index file with the thumbnails is there. So now that that's all there, um, we don't need to do this optional customization right now. So we're just going to test and publish. And usually when I do this, I run into several problems. OK, and this time I just got one, which is nice and simple. So um, this I've, re I've run into this a couple times when I've been trying to publish. And um, it tells me that the UI interface orientation mask all is not available. Now, doing a little bit of programming, I know that this is looking for an integer. And so not knowing what this is really supposed to do and why it's missing, I'm just going to change this to a zero. And then I'm going to try running it again. So if you run into that, you can certainly try that. And Xcode, in some of these cases, gives you a suggestion uh, when there's a red error like that. And so you can just say, it, it'll give you an option you can what to change it to. And you can just say, yes, I want to change it to that. Don't know how well that works. I don't know why I'm running into these errors. They might be fixed in a newer version of Baker, but if you happen to run into this one right here, uh, I think that adding a zero there works pretty well. So I'm going to click Run, and it says the build succeeded. It launches um, the iPad simulator here, and hopefully it should load up the app. And there it is. OK, it's actually, I want it to be, this is designed for landscape, so there's the landscape. And I can, I can simulate a swipe by clicking and dragging. There are my three pages. I try and get to the end, and it tells me that's the end of it. So there you have it. There is testing it. And there's a few more steps. You have to, uh, of course, sign up as an Apple developer to get a code signing certificate to do all that, to, to actually bundle your app and um, submit it to the App Store. But those are the basics of uh, creating and testing your app within 5 and the Baker framework. Thanks for watching.